That's a fair assessment. Getting there is one thing, winning it is another, and either of these capable of producing the kind of performance that Jose de Sousa did last week. To see off the world number 100. one. Seems like a long time ago, that actually. And if I start thinking about when the next potential 100. European Tour event is... I may have to switch my microphone off for a while. Well, look, cheer up, Paul, because the <laughs> European Championship is coming up 44. next weekend. And the three players left in the tournament are fighting it out to be the number one seed there as well. Yeah, not one bad, eh? Good stats for the tournament for both. Mid to high 90s in the average. Decent checkout statistics. Very good for Joe, 46%. 81. That has to be admired. And... Their highest checkouts of the tournament were both in their previous match. So they're warming up nicely. 100. One right so if this one is half as good as the last semi final, it'll be rather good. Yeah, it's been an exciting and dramatic evening of, of arrows here. Michael, Sixty. Joe, you require seventy. Uh, we'll go for the fifty-four here. He'll try and leave something in the bottom left corner as much as he possibly can, but he's found his way to the top. Game shot. The shout first it to leg. the top. Joe Collins. Shows the rock Joe star. The first. Looking as Game assured on. right now as he did last September in Mannheim. He's looking at ease with this challenge. The head-to-head -head record is level. Fifty-nine. Joe Cullen and Michael Smith. Seven wins apiece. Unless you include their One first hundred. televised meeting back in 2008 on the TV show New Kids on the Hockey. There's a novel concept, that. And I'm not a big fan of the name of the show, <laughs> but let's face facts. When you look at the very famous picture of the people in that show... I think Joe and Michael have got a lot to be proud of since they were on that show 12 years ago. 54. There were others that were touted as being maybe bigger talents. The likes of Aaron Monk, Matt Gallat, Matt, Matt the Lad Gallat. He is still floating around somewhere. I'm sure he's watching. If you are, hello, Matt. Yeah, well, the pair of them. 121. The youth system in the PDC and. Their 12 year rivalry is reignited this evening for the first time in the best part of a couple of years. They met very, very early on in 2019. 95. Since. Why we require 84? Michael Smith looks to break straight back. Double 11. 62. And he does practice double 11 quite a bit because Joe he does this thing where he goes double 11 double 6 bull can Joe find the top right corner oh, he went for the 54 for double 19 that's a very Michael Smith thing to do and I'm surprised he didn't go for the 60 52. because in the Mark quarter frame he had a, a belter of a bypass start of the 60 getting closer oh shot lovely shot nice graduation Mark to the green bit to have a look Third at one leg, the throw first. game on Big run of big TV events coming City. up. And Michael Smith, of course, has to defend runners up prize money at the World Championship. Big chunk of cash, that. Big chunk of ranking points. That'll be the biggest amount he's ever defended. And 97. let's not forget as well, I'm not positioning myself as a man who is seeing the glass as half empty, but. Talk about when Rob Cross was defending the 400,000. He failed to do so and had the biggest rankings drop in the point system's history. 100. And that was 385,000. Well, Michael Van Gerwen could break that record if he lost wow. early in the tournament. He's defending 500,000. Looking like a million dollars right now. 
good pace about this game, isn't it? 137. What could require 64? Yeah, we're just warming up nicely then. 180 is exchanged. Smith complete the combination. 44. Yeah, he Joey just requires he knows what went wrong. He sure does. Gave us the old periscope there. As Joe does not like that. They don't need us, Paul. Their faces are telling everything that we need to know. Oh, oh, yeah, that's enough the post. It's like a Bruno Fernandes penalty, that one. Said that because he's a Man U fan. A furious Manchester United fan. Has travelled abroad in times gone by with the likes of Alan Warren a little and Mark Webster going to places like Benfica. 93. Yeah, good Yorkshire lad, Joe. Supporting Man U. Standard behaviour. 45. One round right 40. Just a very enjoyable game to watch. Yeah, it's always going to be, isn't it, with two players of this ability and of this speed. One round. This is how darts are supposed to be played. Rapid, rhythmic, accurate. 97. Just going back to what I was saying about MVG. If he doesn't have a decent run at the Worlds. One round and 40. He could well break that Rob Cross record of rankings drop. Now, if you're defending 500,000 and don't make One the semi finals, you are going to drop 450,000 points. One round and 40. Joey require 32. Going back in his favourite place. The full flag. And he delivers. Yeah, many are suggesting that Michael Van Gerwen's long, long reign at world number one may come to an end next year. Well, think about who is defending the money and who's not. Gerwin Price lost to MVG two years ago in a great last 16 match. So he's defending something in the region of 30 odd thousand. He goes on and wins that tournament, and Michael goes the other way. The swing is unbelievable. But right now, Joe is in the swing. He's looking calm. He looks ready. He could be having a rematch with MVG from Mannheim last year. What I've liked about Joe Cullen this weekend is that he's risen to the challenges in front of him. It was pretty straightforward in his first couple of games. Six one wins. Didn't really have to get out of second gear. But then Ross Smith threw a lot at him. One hundred. Cullen had enough to fend him off. You can't underestimate the fact that Michael Smith is hungry. He has not had a title 57. in over 24 Michael months. So he is dying to get his hands on something with the word winner on it. Tops Game is good. Back within Smith. one, Six Cullen six still has the break in the bank. Forty-eight. Big shout out to Russ Bray, who's done a fabulous job today. And 57. all of the referees throughout the course of this European Tour campaign, the likes of Kirk Bevins, Paul Hinks, George Noble. 100. All the chalkers, everybody backstage, everyone has done a wonderful job and one particular one big one shout out to the likes of Dion Lawn and Robert and Richard Ashdown who are mainstays on the European Tour. They do an amazing 68. job and have made our job so much easier in 2020. As have the men on the hockey. 56. Michael Smith highlighting that, making progress in this leg. Cullen needing to find a visit like this just to regain control. But a look to the heavens there because that means he's not on a finish. Well, does that really punish it? I'm not so sure. Forty-eight. Not so sure about that one as well. One hundred and twenty-seven. Yeah, it's well poised. 
this leg. It's in the balance. Bolly boy. One red answer. Wanted the ball. I'll tell you one thing, his misses are getting closer. Treble 18. This is a huge shot. Oh, that's fabulous from Cullen. Oh, that's a shutout job from the gods. Yeah, absolutely sublime from Joe Cullen. 83. Dug a little bit of a hole for himself there. Managed to dig himself out of it. 85. One of the reasons why I like to mention the backstage 60. crew is to mimic one of my heroes, and that's Jim Nance, who always, when he does a broadcast for American football and golf, always acknowledges 96. the people in the back, and I think it's a nice touch. But right now, that was a body blow to Body Boy, that 114. What I was going to say about Michael Smith is that when he misses, He's not 96. having wild misses. His heat map, if we had one over the board, everything would be a tight miss if he's not hitting. Yeah, that's a, an one example of the dart. It's the wrong side of the wire and in the wrong treble. I don't know what's going to happen in this match. 45. I don't know what's going to happen in the final. But Michael Smith next week got a feeling. 58. Just got a feeling. I'll write that down and I will talk to you at the Winter Series, Paul. Did you just do a Van Wilder? Write that down. <laughs> 49. You're a dart liaison. We, require 133. we did all do predictions earlier today. I'll come back to that in a moment. Double, double. Oh, nobody ever goes that way. It's a great 93. shot. Just, just goes to show the levels he's got and the intelligence he's got. But Cullen doesn't get a shot at the ball. 90. Gets it anyway. <laughs> it was a yeah, good bullseye. 40. Not a shot to win the leg. Game shot on the second leg. Michael Smith has done that. Everybody needs to pay attention to some of the things that Michael Smith does. He's arguably the most intelligent dart player on the planet because 1 3 3 wow. can be concentrated on the 19s, especially in that position with Cullen on a doable out. You get six 19s via the two troubles. 40. Actually, no, it's 57, double double in the same segment. And I'm going to put that into your practice regime, give it a shot. 97. Look, Michael Smith's a quick player. A lot of his game is about his rhythm, so it's very important that he knows before he approaches the hockey the options One. that are available to him and that he can adjust very quickly, which he very, very frequently does. Well, I think Smith was the first person I saw One. going for 112. 40 on small 20 treble 18 double 19 because he's just looking at open beds he's yeah and how many times do we sit in here and criticize players who, who don't who take care of a blocked bed when they don't need to correct i played a game a few months ago and i learned from michael smith i had 98 left hit the small 20 covered the, the 60 bed i went 48 bull 60. Joey go for the open 68. shot this is an open goal for Joe Cullen, this leg. Game shot in the open. The pace in it. Cullen, so just keeps his advantage, that first. couple of leg cushion. Game on. The Cullen cushion. One hundred. Three players left in the tournament. Soon to be two. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was a special dart, wasn't it? Yeah. One of those through the post shots, but through the points. How accurate was 95. that one? Oh, he's in the groove, all right. Groovy, wow. baby. Well, we've had plenty of drama. We've had 59. some fantastic errors over the course of this weekend and now Cullen could have made it even better that could have been really been the cherry on the cake a nice touch from Michael Smith particularly because this match is getting away from him now
60. Jeremy there it is. Cullen is taking it by the throat. Oh, oh, oh strangling. Joe Cullen is looking like he's got that swagger. Game on. Oh, he's got the match in his grasp. Joe Cullen needs just one more leg. He'd like to get it done here. And again, he's just rising to the challenge, beating what's in front of him. We don't know what Michael Van Gerwen will put in front of him if he does make the final. Joe Cullen. Most of it has been D game from MVG this weekend, barring the excellent performance against James Wade in the quarterfinals. But we know that Cullen is capable of raising his game. He's got gears. So has this man. Well, if anybody can put four legs together against a very efficient opponent, Michael Smith is one of your candidates. Here he comes. Oh, makes this game look easy sometimes. This is so easy to watch. <laughs> so much fun. What more could you want? Tops. Oh, costly miss. And now it's Cullen for the final to put himself in his second European Tour final. It is double four once more. Cullen clinches the final spot. Sees off Michael Smith quite convincingly in the end. A 7-3 success.